In this video, I'm going to show you how to how to lock down one of the best bombs out of Gun Bunch. Really one of the best match coverage beaters uh, out of the bunch or the bunch offset in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the channel, I do want to let you know that if you want to get all of my ebooks, I've got 15 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've got bunch trips, U trips, spread. Uh, we've got 335 will, 335 odd, 335 wide, 245 odd, uh, dollar. We've got a lot of ebooks available. If you want to get access to all of them for one price of just $10 a month, join the Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you get everything. You get all the updates. You get everything for one price, $10 a month. It's a great way to support me as a small creator. And it's also, I think, a great way to get better at this game. For me, when I was trying to learn, even today when I'm trying to learn, I buy eBooks. I learn from people. I think that's the best way that you can learn in this game because you not only understand what to do, but you typically, when you watch an eBook or read an eBook, you understand the why behind the what, which I think is even more important and kind of helps you become a better player. So that being said, uh, today we're going to talk today about the play dig return, what makes it so special, what makes it so effective. And we're also going to talk in this video about how you can slow it down or how you can shut it down. Uh, with a couple of simple adjustments. So uh, the play out of the bunch offset is dig return. This is one of the most difficult plays uh, to stop. It's typically known as a short yardage concept, but it's actually something that can bob pretty much every match coverage in the game, at least out of quarters, palms, or six. And we're gonna show you that in this example real quick. I'm gonna back the ball off, give myself just a little bit more room here and uh, show you what you're, what, you're, what, uh, what this concept can do. So. With a simple hot route, we're just going to streak the R1 receiver. And what you're going to notice is EA still hasn't fixed this. This is a complete glitch. I broke this down a couple weeks ago um, on the YouTube channel and just talked about how good this is against match. And the reason, part of what makes it so good is the fact that it's quick hike. Literally, you just one hot route, go, and you're, you're bombing match coverage, right? I think that's actually very powerful. And it's just something about this play that makes it super, super effective. So that being said... Um, I want to dive in today and give you one little piece. Um, I'm going to kind of give you two pieces that you can use to slow this down. So the first thing that we can do, and you might already know about this adjustment, we're going to put the safety on the right side of the screen, the bunch side, into a deep half. And what you're going to notice here is because of that deep half, now this streak that was open is going to be covered. As you can see right there, we cover the, we cover the route really well. The problem becomes with match is the more they can break down your match principles, I think the more open a lot of the basic things can become of this play. So if you take a look here, this little zig route to the circle receiver, oftentimes will get open right on that cut. They can throw it and it's gonna be wide open every single time. So, and, and really the dig route is kind of the piece or the, the, the piece of the puzzle that is so difficult to guard uh, within this. It's also the piece of the puzzle uh, that actually causes this to happen. So I've talked about this a little bit before, but I think that there's a lot of wisdom in just manning up the problem receivers of offenses. Um, I've talked about how the number three receiver oftentimes is a major problem uh, for offenses, right? Well, in bunch, one of the major, uh, major, major problems is this outside bunch receiver. He seems to cause that problem with that whip route. So let me just show you what a man coverage assignment will do. And then we're just gonna drop this little guy right here, uh, Simmons, into a bluff blitz. I just want you to watch and kind of see uh, what you can see. You're gonna see here, I'm not putting the deep path out there, but notice that that's gonna be covered. Now they have to check down there. And obviously we have to be able to stop that as well, which we're gonna show that in just a second. So um, the way that you stop that specific route, and this is why I like quarters for this in particular, because if they motion out, you're not gonna get any swap offs or anything like that. But what we're gonna do here is we're simply going to shade um, our coverage down, as you can see right here. So that's gonna put a, this guy in a hard flat, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, um, you know, it, you name it. What I like about 335 Will, you can take this guy and actually uh, man him up. Same with this guy here on receivers. So I think that's something that to, at least worth noting. But again, we're just gonna shade our coverage down. We're gonna take Simmons and we're gonna put him in a vertical hook to the right side of the screen. Okay, vertical hook to the right side, right side of the screen. You could also do that with Dupree. So either of these two guys, just put them in vertical hooks to the right. You're manning this guy up on the circle receiver and then you're gonna drop, um, you're gonna drop one of your, or your other defensive tackle as my play artist is glitched, but you're gonna drop your other defensive tackle in, in coverage. 
Uh, my stuff's completely frozen here. So Ostry, for example, we're gonna drop him in coverage on a three rec. Really important that you have a three rec on your field. And then if you wanna take this guy and man him up on the back, you can. You can leave him in a, uh, a hard flat. You can put him in a purple. That's up to you. They don't have to stay in hard flats. They just hit, you just have to shade down. And what you'll notice here is this dig return. We're gonna have pretty decent coverage. Yeah, they're gonna kind of be underneath it, right in that throwing lane, and he's gonna take that away. So that's kind of how you can take away this concept. Like I said, this concept I think is one of the most uh, effective concepts for really breaking down match coverage because match coverage doesn't have vertical hooks. Match coverage doesn't come with a, a shaded down technique of a vertical hook. That is what you're gonna need to stop things like wheel routes and things like uh, these little whips and hitches and some of that stuff that can kind of be uh, open against match coverage. So you could do something as simple as that. Once they once they start to uh, once they start to notice that you're able to stop the bomb of this, then they're going to go to this next piece um, of this concept, and that is this little basically a high low between the dig to Boyd and the smoke screen to Chase. And what you're going to see here is they should have decent success, but with the match coverage, notice that right there. Well, now because we've got the eight, we got the ability to cover that uh, that hitch, and this is something really really good for you if you're especially if you're uh, a red zone guy. So you just drop this guy on a vertical hook, you man this guy up on the circle receiver, you uh, drop that guy into a little bluff blitz, and now you're going to be free to use her with this guy on this side of the field. So now in this situation, and this is a very popular two point conversion play. Now you've got some zones out there that can help with that whip route, kind of help kind of pass it off. And then you're just kind of kind of follow right in here and you can kind of shut this concept down with some of these basic little adjustments. Um, and then at the same time, still protect yourself from bombs. You're going to protect yourself pretty much every bomb just by manning up that circle receiver. And then you're also going to be able to kind of adapt to everything else. If you want, if you don't want to run main coverage, that's fine. Just go ahead and throw that guy on a deep half. The problem is you have to be ready because um, that's going to leave other things. Oh, there's going to be other things that come open as a result of that. There's other bombs that still exist within bunch um, as a result of that. So it's just something you need to be aware of. Uh, but Again, just by using a vertical hook uh, right there, and, and, and the beauty of this is we can drop D linemen in vertical hooks and three wrecks because we've got our blitzed user here, and then you can be in a situation, like I said, where your whip route is not anywhere near as open as it was, and then now they have to rely on something that you're already using just by the natural flow of the route concept. So that's how I would use cover four quarters to kind of slow down this concept. Like I said, this concept is something that I've had ran on me with my very, very good uh, pro Madden players that run bunch. Um, this is something that they'll typically go to whenever they find out that you're in some kind of uh, some kind of match coverage. So, you know, wanted to put this out there and let you know this is kind of how you can slow some of that stuff down. I think this, the beauty of match coverage really is it stops a lot of the things they like to do, like deep corner routes. It stops um, verticals, some of those concepts. So then they have to start going to stuff like this. But now we can adapt and adjust and still keep our match integrity so that we can't get torched. Uh, with corner routes and, and stuff like that. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you are still watching and you want to get all of my ebooks, like I said, everything, I've got a whole ebook on match, quarters, palm six, uh, cover three, cover, th uh, cover three match, cover three buzz match, all of those. Uh, I've got a full nickel normal ebook, which is my favorite defense uh, to run match out of. If you want to learn all of that stuff, I'm going to link it in the description of the video for the Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you get everything, everything for just $10 a month. So if you want to join it, head on down to the description below and click the link that I put down there and go check it out.